light seems to travel in straight line paths in transparent medium what happens light enter from one transparent medium to another does it still move along a straight line path or change its direction we shall record some of our day to day experiences let us watch this video You might have observed that a sketch pen or fork partially immersed in water in a glass appears to be displaced at the interface of air and water. Similarly, you might also seen that a lemon kept in water in a glass appears to be bigger than its actual size when viewed from this side. Similarly, the coin kept in water appears slightly raised above its actual position how can you account for such experiences these observations indicate that light does not travel in the same direction in all media it appears that when light traveling from one medium to another medium the direction of propagation of light in the second medium changes this phenomenon is known as refraction of light these are the topics will be covered during the session introduction of refraction refraction through a rectangle glass glass the concept of refractive index let us learn about refraction of light what happens when light travels from a rarer medium to a denser medium so what is a rarer medium and what is a denser medium let us take example as air is a rarer medium and water is a denser medium so when light ray enters the medium the direction of light changes how it changes it bends towards the normal this is the incident the ray direction similarly when light travels from a denser medium to a rarer medium this is the direction of incident light ray so as you can see here denser to rarer it bends away from the normal this is the direction of incident light ray i repeat when light travels from a rarer medium to a denser medium it bent towards the normal when light travels from a denser medium to a rarer medium it bends away from the normal so refraction is the change in the direction of light ray passing from one medium to another why is light refracted we have learned that as the light enters in a different medium the direction of light 
changes. When light enters a different material, the speed of light changes. The speed of light depends on the material through which the light is traveled. The speed of light is also affected by the density of the material through which the light is traveled. When light enters a more dense medium, its speed decreases and that is why refraction occurs. Let us learn about the effects of refraction. As you can see here in this diagram, how does refraction make the stone look closer to the surface of the water than it really is? Light rays from the stone are refracted as they leave the water. The brain assumes that the rays have traveled in straight lines and is full into forming an image where it thinks the light rays came from. So next topic is refraction of light through a rectangular glass slab. For that, we are going to take an outline of this rectangular glass slab on a sheet of paper like this. So air is one medium and glass is another medium. This is the direction of incident light ray. We are drawing a normal to that, makes an angle with respect to the incident ray. We call it as angle of incidence. As we know that when light enters from rarer to denser medium, it went towards the normal. So this is the refracted ray mixing and makes an angle with respect to the normal called angle of refraction. Now at the second interface, we also draw a normal to the glass and air medium. So what happens here when light enters from denser medium to air air medium, it bends away from the normal. So this, which also makes an angle with respect to the normal called angle of emergence. And this is the emergent ray. And this is the total displacement of emergent ray with respect to the incident ray. And this is the rectangular glass slab. You may have observed that an emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray. Why does it happen? The extent of bending of the ray of light at the opposite parallel faces of the rectangular glass slab is equal and opposite. My question here is, what happens when a light ray is incident normally to the interface of the two media? Let us find out what happens, does not deviate at all. So what are the key points you learned here? When a ray of light passes through a rectangular glass slab, it bends twice at the air glass interface and the glass air interface. Also another important point is the emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray and is displaced through a distance. Now using this concept of refraction, let us calculate the angle of deviation. So the angle of incidence is given in the table and angle of deviation also given. So let us calculate the angle of deviation from this diagram. So as we already mentioned, if the incident angle is zero, so the refracted angle also zero. So let us calculate the deviated angle here. So how can you calculate this? So as you can see here, this angle and this angle, we call it as opposite angles. This is the angle of incidence and this is the angle of refraction. And if you know this one, that gives you what? The deviated angle. So how can you calculate that? The incident angle minus the refracted angle will give you what? The deviation. So zero minus zero will give you zero here. 15 minus 10 will be 5. 
30 minus 19 will be 11 and 45 minus 28 will be 17 and 60 minus 35 will be 25 and 75 minus 40 will be 35. So let us check the answer. Yes, I think you got it right. Okay. Now you are familiar with the refraction of light. Experiment shows that the refraction of light occurs according to certain laws. Let us find out. The first law is the incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal must lie in the same plane. The ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant. This is also known as Snell's law of refraction that is sine i by sine r is equal to a constant. If i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of refraction, then sine i by sine r is equal to a constant. This constant is called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first. What is refractive index? The refractive index can be linked to an important physical quantity. That is the relative speed of propagation of light in different media. Light travels fastest in vacuum with a speed of 3 into 10 power of 8 meter per second. In air, the speed of light is marginally less compared to that of vacuum. It reduces considerably in glass or water. The value of the refractive index for a given pair of media depends upon the speed of light in the two media as explained below. Let V1 be the speed of light in medium 1 and V2 be the speed of light in medium 2. The refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 is given by N21 which is represented by N21 which is equal to speed of light in medium 1 divided by speed of light in medium 2 which is equal to V1 divided by V2. Similarly, by using the same argument, the refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 is represented by N12 is given by speed of light in medium 2 divided by speed of light in medium 1 which is equal to V2 divided by V1. We can also relate the speed of light in free space to refractive index as below. That is N is equal to C by V where C is the speed of light in air and V is the speed of light in the medium. Therefore, N is equal to C by V gives you what? The refractive index of the medium. The refractive index determines how much light is bent or refracted when entering a material. The light slowing factor is called the index of refraction or refractive index. The refractive index of several media as shown in this table. As you can see here, water has a refractive index of 1.33. Similarly, crown glass has 1.52. Uh, the fin, fin glass has 1.65 and diamond has 2.42. So, water has a refractive index of 1.33, which means that Light travels 1.33 times faster in a vacuum than it does in water. Similarly, we can also say that the refractive index of diamond is 2.42, which means the light travels 2.42 times faster in vacuum than it does in diamond. 
Now let us solve a numerical. So the question here is the speed of light is 3 into 10 power of 8 meter per second in and in air it is effectively the same. However, in glass, light slows to 2 into 10 power of 8 meter per second. Calculate the refractive index of glass. So what are given here? Given C is given, which is equal to 3 into 10 power of 8 meter per second. And speed of light in glass is given. Let us take it as V. That is 2 into 10 power of 8 meter per second. And we are supposed to calculate what? The refractive index of glass. So the formula we know is N is equal to C divided by V. So which is equal to 3 into 10 power of 8 meter per second divided by 2 into 10 power of 8 meter per second. So what do you get here? 10 power 8 and 10 power 8 meter per second Unit, units will get cancelled. So 3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5. So n is equal to 1.5 is the answer. So let us check. 1.5 is the answer. What have we learned here? Light traveling from a rarer medium to a denser medium, it bends towards the normal, but it is denser medium to a rarer medium, it bends away from the normal. In rectangular glass lab, the emergent ray is always parallel to the incident ray. The speed of light is different in different media. So the speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 power of 8 meter per second. The refractive index of a medium is the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum to that of the medium. So thank you for watching this class. Please comment and subscribe my channel.